Ayo, ayo, ito na ba yun? Pwede. Okay. Pwede na yun. Thank you, Lord, for this day. All right, my sweet friend, let's begin. Lying down. Lying down. down. Come on down to the ground. Give yourself a moment here to just land. Don't think that I don't know what a heroic feat it can be to arrive here today. So, wonderful job. Wait, <laughs> Meet by taking a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, close your eyes. Allow your hands to rest gently on the ground. Second to relax the weight of your body into the earth as you tune in. Begin to notice the sound of your breath, and the depth of your breath. And begin to notice how you're feeling today. already begin to gently deepen the breath, maybe inviting that ocean sound into the practice again, and maybe playing with how short or how long your inhales and exhalations can be. Conversation going with your breath, and we'll start to rock the head gently side to side. You can keep your eyes closed here if it feels good. Part the lips a little bit for this. 
this move just to ensure you relax in the jaw. And just notice, you know, no harm done if you're moving quickly, but just notice if when I invited you to start rocking that side to side, you started with a, a quick pace, see if you can slow it down a bit. And I do think it's a good idea to close the eyes here just to start to really tune into this subtle body gesture. Down towards the hips. The image here that I love is like a 
a bear scratching its back on a tree. I got to go to Yosemite last year before the pandemic, and it was so exciting to think about sharing space with the bears. The bears. Okay, enough. Extension like that long. We're going to walk the heels and out towards the left side, the bottom left corner of your mat, and then you're going to do a little shimmy with the head and shoulders to the back left corner of the mat, so you're creating a beautiful crescent moon with your bob. Inhale, reach up, grab the right wrist with the left hand, and then we're going to just kind of exaggerate this lengthening in the right side body here, but try to also hug down in the center as we've been doing, keeping the abdominal wall, abdominal wall, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little turned on. <laughs> All right, deep breath in here. As you exhale, option to cross the right ankle over the left. A lot of people like this gesture, but if it's not for you, just skip it. So obviously I'm the guide today and I'm honored to be your guide so you're not going to hear my ocean breath because I'm talking but I encourage you whenever you can to listen to your ocean breath and I'll try to chime in with mine whenever I can I'm using that sound to anchor or center the mind the busy mind in the present moment okay unravel bring it back to center I'm going to bring the arms down and then walk the legs over towards the bottom right. Shimmy the head and the shoulders over to the back right corner of your mat, already feeling it in the left sideways. Inhale to reach up, exhale, grab that left wrist with your right hand, and breathing here, creating the sensation of that crescent moon shape here in the left side body. And layering that connection to center, hugging the low ribs in. It's this feeling for me of containment. And I love working with center work rather than just wham bam core work because it really does connect us to a sense of empowerment, right? This this chakra here of of kind of like self confidence, empowerment, this willingness to really know who you are and embody that person fully. Okay, cross the left ankle over the right if you haven't already. Always checking in to notice, you know, how different the left and the right side of the body may be, particularly in the limbs and the joints. Okay, and then slowly let's unravel. Bring it back to center, interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head, extend the thumbs. We're going to bring the knees up to the chest. Benji's back. Come on, buddy. Come be my cheerleader for this next centering practice. Bring the knees up to the chest. Oh, thanks. Oh, okay. See you. And then we're going to just send the knees out so that they're over the hip points. Shins parallel to the ceiling, low back flush with the mat. I want to take a second to lovingly just be a good friend here and be kind of transparent. If you haven't been in touch with center work for a while, then it might be best for you to keep the knees a little bit forward um, instead of over the hip points. And this is so that you can start to gain that core strength back so that we can keep the low back nice and flush with the mat. So in other words, if you bring your knees out and your low back comes up, back up the truck a little, hug the knees in just a little bit so you feel that low back flush with the mat. All right, this might seem like overkill, but I don't want you to have a sore back after this, and I want us to actually start building some incredible power and strength from the inside out. Okay, here we go. Inhale in. Find that kiss of the low back on the earth. And exhale, we're gonna send the right leg all the way out, flex the foot as you lift the right elbow up to the left knee. You can get me if you need to. Good, inhale, come back to center. Head comes all the way down. Exhale, switch. Extend the left leg, left elbow to right knee. Good, inhale, back to center. Exhale, 
right elbow to left. Inhale to center, left elbow to right. Inhale to center, nice and slow. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. You have one more on each side, you got this. If you took a break, come back now. Over to the left, twist, twist, twist. And to center, and last one, over to the right, twist. Excellent, beautiful. From here, release the hands, bring them behind the thighs. We're gonna rock up and down the length of the spine. And my guess is this is gonna feel nice for you, but maybe not for everybody. So if it, if it ain't for you to skip it, and just meet me all the way at the top of your mat in a standing forward hold. So you're gonna roll, walk all the way up, bring the feet together, or hip with the pads. You're, you're, Choice. Then plant the palms. Step. Walk all the way up. Bring the feet together or hip with the pads. Your feet. Choice. Then plant the palms. Step it back for downward facing dog. center here by hugging the low ribs in and if downward dog is a dreaded pose for you anchor in the sound of your breath and focus on this connection in your core your center going in and up a bit just widening up perspectives here a little bit by keeping an open mind open to a new experience each day using these postures even when they're challenging or especially when they're challenging to center you in the present moment all right baby steps to the top of the mat nice and easy stretching through the feet maybe passing through a little veil of humility as you come back up to your forward fold again feet together or hip width apart your choice this time, really let the weight of the head go here, ground through all four corners of the feet. Don't forget those heels, the back two corners. Bend the knees slightly. And we're just going to take the fingertips and walk them over to the right, dig into the left heel. What's up, left low back, and then over to the left, dig into the right heel. And then back to center. Inhale, lots of love in. Yes, mean it, feel it, let's do it, why not? And exhale, lots of love out. And inhale, lots of love in. And centering in that love as you breathe out. And then keep it going if it felt good. Inhaling, lots of love in as you roll up slowly and exhaling, lots of love out. Today, when you stand up nice and tall in this mountain pose, I'd like for you to find a little something that you can focus on down past your nose or maybe right out in front of you. And we're going to keep the hands at our sides here with energy, with feeling. And we're going to just play. And it'll be a little bit different for everyone here. But just with the, with the feet, however they are, this is totally good. So either hip with the part or flush together. You're going to lift up from the pelvic floor and slowly lift the heels up as high as you can and then lower down. That's it. Let's try again a little bit slower and with control. Lifting up and bringing it down. And one more time. And this time, this is a little while, but just hang with me. Imagine that this part of your body, your center, is actually what's lifting you up. So not the heels or, you know, not this maneuvering of the feet. But it's actually this part of your body that's lifting you up. In fact, I'm going to take up this, bring it right here to the belly or, you know, to the upper abs, solar plexus. Whatever feels right for you. And then lift up from here. Lift, lift, lift. Good. And then once you feel like you're up there and if you fall like I just did, just come right back, no biggie. 
release the arms down, and then maybe we start to reach the arms up. And think about lifting from the pelvic floor and drawing the navel in and up, up, up. Beautiful, then slowly drop your center down in space. That brings the heels to the ground, we bend the knees, and we send it all the way down, fingertips towards the toes. Good, inhale, nice refreshing breath in here as you bring it to a nice flat back position. Find length in the neck and then exhale to soften and fold everything down. Plant the palms, step one foot back, then the other, so you're in your plank pose. We're getting our conditioning in each day here. Again, find your center, hug those low ribs in and up. If you're collapsing in the shoulder blades here, puff up through the upper back body, send those scaps left to right, reach the heels back. We're here for 10, you got it. Nine, breathe, listen, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, on the one, squeeze the elbows in the side body, lower all the way to the earth. Nice, take a deep breath in here, press into the feet, long breath out as you bring the hands in line with the ribcage. Again, squeeze the elbows in, inhale, we rise up, cobra, exhale to release, Curl the toes under, inhale, big breath, all four sides of the torso, expand, exhale, up to your strong plank. Let your center of gravity be what lifts you up and back this time, downward facing dog, nice. Then anchor the left heel, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, squeeze the right knee all the way up and forward, then step it into your nice low lunge. Keep the back knee lifted today if you can, reach the left heel back and slowly sweep the arms forward and all the way up towards the sky. Now drop your center down low. Bend that back knee generously for a moment here so you can really get your center underneath you so it feels like head and heart and pelvis are all in alignment. Then you can start to straighten that back leg and maybe look up in between your hands. Fingertips have energy here. Inhale in deeply. Exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, straight leg today all the way Exhale, squeeze the right knee all the way up to the dog, nice. Then anchor the left heel, inhale, nice. lift the right leg up high. Exhale, squeeze the right knee all the way up and forward, then step it into your nice low lunge. Keep the back knee lifted today if you can, reach the left heel back and slowly sweep the arms forward and all the way up towards the sky. Now drop your center down low. Bend that back knee generously for a moment here so you can really get your center underneath you so it feels like head and heart and pelvis are all in alignment. Then you can start to straighten that back leg and maybe look up in between your hands. Fingertips have energy here. Inhale in deeply. Exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, straight leg today all the way up towards the sky. Right fingertips reach up and back. Big breath, big stretch. Now. Hug the lower ribs in, round through as you transition here, peek at me if you need to. So shoulders round forward, soft fingertips as we come all the way back and through, bend that front knee and come into the twist. And the right fingertips lift us up. Really today focusing on spiraling the heart up towards the sky. Good, and then bringing the right hand down, stepping the right toes back, inhale to look forward, shift forward, exhale to lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, Cobra, your version. And exhale, all the way back down. Inhale, big breath in here. Exhale to plank. Inhale in here. Whole body experience. And exhale, your center brings you up and back into your downward facing dog. Nice. Anchor the right heel here. Big breath as you inhale with the left leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward. Long breath. Step it up, find your footing here, high lunge, but of course, feel free to lower that back knee if you need. Squeeze the inner thighs together from center, inhale, we rise up, reach the fingertips towards
towards the heavens. Then let's bend that back knee here, really get our pelvis kind of underneath us. This will be different for everyone, but you want to feel that containment in the center that we had on our backs. All right, maybe you start to straighten that back leg again when you play with that centering. And maybe we look up towards the sky, controlling the breath, opening up warrior two, nice and wide. And right away, straightening the front leg now. Left fingertips off and back, big breath, big stretch. For this transition, navel draws in. So really draw the navel in, we round through. Bend that front knee, soft fingertips here in the transition as we come forward for your lunge. Inhale, spiral the heart up towards the sky. Energy in the left fingertips. Good, and then slowly exhale, bring it down. Plant the palms, spread the fingertips, step the left toes back. Inhale, we'll look forward. Exhale, the lower to the belly. Inhale, your beautiful cobra. That's right, and then exhale to release. Curl the toes under, inhale in. And exhale brings you up, navel to spine like a rocket ship. So from center, we're moving. Hips up high and back, down dog. Nice. Bend the knees, inhale to walk forward. Exhale to make your way to the top. Find your way, my darling. Feet together this time. So really together, let's play. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to soften and fold. Bend the knees, tuck it out, roll it up here. So round it all again, but this time feet are together and we're feeling the squeeze, squeeze, squeezing sensation all the way up, finding a, a, a sense of stability, center, power here as you squeeze the legs. And you can feel all these big, strong muscles of the legs turn on, <laughs> and the glutes turn on as well. And here we go, from center. If you liked this, bring the fist back to the abdominal wall, and let's lift up. So this move first, this moves first here, and then the heels lift. This time, we're working with legs squeezing together, all of us. We can stay here, focus on our point, our drishti, the point in which we gaze upon, holding our balance, booty, finding center in both mind and body. Maybe we stay here, or maybe we reach the arms all the way up. If you're on the toes, really on the toes, try to press into all of the toes. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe, maybe. maybe we can mm. oh, From center, if you like to just bring the fist back to the abdominal wall, and let's lift up. So this move first, this moves first here, and then the heels lift. This time, we're working with legs squeezing together, all of us. We can stay here, focus on our point, our drishti, a point in which we gaze upon, holding our balance, booty, finding center in both mind and body. Maybe we stay mm. here, or maybe we reach the arms all the way up. If you're on the toes, really on the toes, try to press into all of the toes, even that pinky. Relax any tension in the neck of the shoulders. Good, inhale in. Exhale, release everything and take it all the way back down. Let's rinse it off a little. Inhale, extension, lengthen the crown of the head, half a lift. Exhale, soften and fold everything. Good. Shake the head a little, we also a little low here. And slowly roll back up to standing. Beautiful, hands come to the waistline and we're gonna turn a step nice and wide on the mat. Wait. All right. Okay. And so we're going to go Okay, good. within 
that new superhero pose. Think of this lifting up through the front body, this grounding through the back body. Inhale in, and exhale, we're gonna bend the knees, just drop the center in space. Now press into the outer edges of your feet because your knees are gonna to wanna to roll in, totally normal. But we're gonna press into the outer edges. So we have a wider stance than goddess pose. So if you're bringing your feet in now, try to keep it a little bit wide. Pressing into the outer edges of the feet, seeing if we can feel the thigh bones, the femurs, slowly hug in. And if you're here, you know, this is to be expected. So we're just working, right? I've been doing this a while. We're just working, working to find this integration to work from center to stack the bones in an optimal way. So if the knees are knocking in, press into the outer edges of the feet. Everyone draw energy up from the inner arches, engage the inner thigh. Standing tall here, inhale in, exhale, straighten the legs. Beautiful, now turn the toes in. We've been here before. Inhale, lift your heart to the sky. And exhale, leave the draws in towards the spine as we come forward, nice flat back position. Looking down into our reflection. This time we're gonna bring the left fingertips to the earth, or if you're like, mm, Adrian, not quite. Fold up your blanket, bring the earth up to you. Maybe some, some uh, books or pillows, your blocks, imagine that. If you have them. DVDs, do you guys still have DVDs? You have to start a lot of DVDs. But hey. All right, if you're feeling impatient when I say things like that, just remember we're all practicing. This is a, we're casting a wide net. A lot of people are practicing together, and that's like kind of the magic of this. So be patient. Think of it as like, oh, I'm going to work on my breath while my fellow humans get set up so that we can all practice together. Right fingertips come to the left wrist, and we're going to slowly find a twist. So soften the knees here as you slowly reach the right finger up towards the sky. You might check in, notice how your twists are kind of evolving here with the breath as we continue this journey. If you're here, that's normal too. Great, great for you. Inhale, maybe you send your gaze up towards your right thumb. And exhale, we'll come back through and we will switch. Same thing on the other side. Right hand or right fingertips replace the left hand and we'll take the left hand all the way up towards the sky. Careful not to walk out through the knees. Breathe, use your breath, right? Inhale, the lift and lengthen always in the twist and exhale to go on the journey. Maybe on your last cycle of breath here, you look up at the left thumb. Ooh, and then slowly bring it back down. All right, from here, heel toe, heel toe, the feet all the way back to center. So you're in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, wherever you are on your left, just give it a little length. And exhale to release. Fingertips come to the earth or your DVDs. And we're gonna lift the heels, we're gonna drop the center down in space, come into a nice low crouch. Now we've played around with this before. Just take a second, find your breath. Inhale in. Exhale, nice and easy. We're gonna turn all of them if you need to. And we're going to open the knees wide. We're going to keep the heels lifted. All right. Hands out in front. I need to wipe my body. I'm not a legging style. I'm not a legging style. I'm not a legging style. I'm not Sorry, my conversion. Spread the fingertips. We're going to draw the shoulder blades together, shoulders away from the ears, so we find that connection to the shoulder. And then slowly, we're going to think about the center. Your center of gravity is what lifts you up. Knees come up towards the armpit. And don't worry about crow pose yet. We're just moving our sit. And then slowly, we're going to think about the center. Your center of gravity is what lifts you up. Knees come up towards the armpit. And don't worry about crow pose yet. We're just moving our center in space. Now, if I can um, introduce anything, if this is new for you, it would be 
you to A, move from center and not worry about the shape. But B, keep your gaze out, your focus, that drishti that we had before. Because if you start shifting your center forward and the gaze is here, it's going to keep moving in the head space and you're going to do a somersault. So let's just play here a little akasana practice. We lift the center up, we send the gaze out in front, nice focal point out in front, and we rock forward and back, forward and back. And we've been working on a lot of things that will set us up for a nice healthy crow. So you might just work on center, forward and back. Yeah, but if you find as you hug the elbows in and get those knees all up in there, <laughs> fancy turn, up towards your armpit chest, you feel this connection in your center so much that you feel like you can lift one foot, maybe and lift the other. And then maybe you rock forward, lift both feet, feeling that connection in your center. Gravity. So we're not really digging the knees into the arms here. We're finding that lift up through the navel. Just give it a couple rounds. Make sure you're not holding your breath. And then when you feel like you've had enough, go ahead and come on down to the ground. Swing your legs to one side. Send the legs out in front. Fingertips reach out mm -hmm. and align with the shoulders okay. to one side. Kaya naman, kaso madulas. The leggings na ako next time. <laughs> no way. Doing that in next time. Turn the legs out in front. Fingertips reach out. And align with the shoulders, and then we're going to take the fingertips down. Good. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Take the right thumb to the center of the left palm and press it forward. And then, and then switch left thumb to the center of the right palm. Breathe in. And release. Now come to lie flat on the back. Hug the knees into the chest. Moving through 
through space, truly see what happens if you can remember, oh, what is, what is it? What is it like if I move from center? How does that change the quality of my movement? Sweet, thumbs up to the third eye. I think that's enough for today. I love you so much. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, the journey continues. Manana, I'll see you there. Namaste. Thank you.